Good evening fellow punchers, back with you just 8 o'clock on whatever day of the week it is. I'm <laughs> it'll wreck your head this crack. Um what is it? Thursday, yeah, tomorrow's Friday. Um another good day and it nearly was a perfect day. Um that one of Haggis's that got away. He had five horses there today, and the one that I backed in a nice trick say um I thought he had it won. Uh, the ground let him down. Um, he was pulled out twice before on soft ground. Actually, I thought they'd pull him out today. They ran him um, twice on soft ground before he was pulled out due to ground conditions. Um, he did take the lead. Um, just tired in the last few strides. Um, Shababi won nicely. Uh, he came on the same as he did last year for the second run. Come on a lot. Um, I got sixes last night. And I had Woodton at threes and it, and um, the other one in a Trixie. But a um, nice day, a nice profit, good stuff. And the double uh, is still to come up, um, I, but there's a lot of money for that Thai pan. And it's good to see so many had uh, made a few pounds the last couple of days. So we're tipping along nicely. We're in the middle lane. We're chugging along, you know, that uh, there was good crack on the bus last night too. Um there was nearly a competition between uh, the Corks. They, they're uh, along to themselves. They had the beam is on, you see, and they wouldn't drink anything else. And then the young books and uh, the women had the beer or the Carlsberg. So um, there was good um, banter, but uh, they all settled down and everything was uh, hunky dory. Um, on a, a sad note, for a second, I, I seen this message about 10 days ago and I forgot to put it in. Um, Norman Whiteheed said uh, to say hello to uh, his buddy Ralph Edwards who lost his dad a few weeks ago and he um, he watches the channel and he enjoys it and that's good to hear um, and I'll tell you what I'll do uh, name a song within reason no rap or no opera and uh, I'll uh, I'll try and sing it for you just to cheer you up in times of need where uh, the bus will help you out as best we can Um Thanks for reminding us of that, uh, Norman. Uh, that's what we're all here for, to help each other. Um, Eddie, Eddie Smoothens, uh, he couldn't come on the bus today. He's off to the Ayrton Islands for the weekend. Enjoy and, and be safe. Keep out of the water. Stay in the pub. Gary Walsh, a new man on the bus today as well. Paul Andronicu, um, you're welcome. And James Arataki, I don't know where you're from, but you're welcome. Uh, Stephen C he's like me he's short ink um, he uh, he was on the bus today uh, Christina Davis was on two gambled horses today that was good information Christina one was desperate and lucky um, um, that one of, of Baldings um, Probert was on it um, it was all over a winner uh, we'll be on that the next time but we won't get a prize I'd imagine uh, the other one, I think, was uh, mid-div. Um, Brita King uh, was at the bar last night. She was enjoying her Carlsberg. She said she was giving up the, the shorts. Uh, Adam O'Sullivan as well. He was on the Beamish last night. Hardy Harlow and Rob Strong were in great form. They were the last two on. So, tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday. The 220 at Sandown is the Esher Stakes, 2 miles, 50 hours, 7 declared. There's 5 geldings carry 9 stone 2, and there's a mare and a filly, then they're carrying 8 stone 11. Um, Alert to Rajo is a 4 year old filly out of Golden Horn. It was last seen uh, second to Stradivarius in the Doncaster Cup in September. She needed her first run last year. Um, she's up to 107 she's a, you know she's this is a good race uh, it'd be very tactical you can claim his age 9 he's raced 107 as well he needs cut on the ground I forgot to check uh, what ground conditions are like for tomorrow if it was hot deep he'd have a chance if it's top of the ground no um, calling the wind was uh, third to uh, Stratham in the in Royal Ascot in the, the long race uh, the marathon as the Yanks would call it Rodrigo Diaz was a uh, third through quick turn in a group three in Sandown, a, a course and distance, and that's raced 105. 
that's a decent beast. But um, we have to stay loyal to Coltrane. It won for us in uh, Royal Ascot at 14 to 1, tipped up at 10s. Uh, nice money taken off of that off the bookies that day. Um, it was second previous to that in the in Unlucky to um, Cleveland in the Chester Cup. Um, Callum Hutchinson rode it the last day and he gave it a fine ride. And he was claiming five. And Rob Hornby is back tomorrow. And that five pound could be useful. Um, but a nine to two shot. So we have to stay loyal to that a pint win. Now, I'm not as confident as I was the last day, actually. And, and he was 10 to one. But because uh, this is a trappy affair. But he's an improving an animal. And we have to stay uh, loyal to him. There's, uh, there's three shorties. Something similar to what I was doing today. And what I what I recommend to do with this one is uh let's say if we do a four euro Trixie with a four euro treble, cost twenty quid, two pints, that um in the one fifty at Sandown, Rocket Rodney, uh it's eleven to eight into six to five. To, uh, if it run, runs for George Scott to second in the Windsor Castle in Ascot to Little Big Bear, to second first time out in Goodwood, uh to second first amount and then one in Goodwood in 57.7 seconds. So that can fly. It's very fast. It's out of dandy, man. Uh, it's all speed. That should be winning, I think, tomorrow. Um, and then in the 6.15 at uh, Wexford, um, Percival Legolo, uh, Gavin Cromwell um, and Mark Walsh combination. It's on seat of the, on seat of the rider, uh, three out the last time when it probably was going to win. This looks a weak contest. He's a one to two shot. The other one is six to five now. And then uh, in Wexford as well, we have Genoi. Um, two stars back to his uh, second to Gannett Pathy over two miles at Wexford. A slightly raced Geldon. is trained by Indy Bulger for JP. Um, won a maiden hurl in Nace last year. It, just, it was beaten odds on shot that day, micromanage. Um, but if you had... 50, that's 15 to 8. If you had a 15 to 8 shot, a 1 to 2 and a 6 to 5, 4 euro, 64 euro treble, you'd have 130 quid back. If two of them won, you have a double. You know, I'm just put, putting the safety net on here. And then one in Bellastown tomorrow evening. Um, Takana for Kieran Murphy and Billy Lee is drawn 5. It won a maiden over the track last year, uh, which is rated uh, 72. It's down to 64 now. First run this year in Bellastown, it was 5th of 11, but it's only beaten 3 and a quarter lengths, which is rated 72 at the time. So uh, it likes the track. Um, it's drawn 5, and Billy Lee is riding well. Uh, he's 10 to 1, is paying 4 places, so we go a pint each way on that. Um, so that's it now. Uh, hopefully maybe the last one will come in and we'll have a nice, really nice day. It was a pity uh, that uh, the one of Haggis's didn't win for us. If the ground was anyways uh, less moist in, in less moisture in it, would have had that, and I'd have have uh, I'd have the wheelbarrow and a half full. Um, great to see all the comments and uh, the banter, and that was mighty. Um, there was a message left from YouTube there today. It said uh, the video is going nice. More regular viewers are engaging with this video, helping to increase its reach. That was grand to see, right? Keep it up. And we'll try and get winners for Saturday and Sunday if we can. We're chugging along nicely. Um, that, you know, 5 to 1 and a 6 to 1 and a 9 to 1 and a 9 to 2. I'll, I'll throw in an odd couple of favourites, all right, when I think that they're sort of, you know, that they're sort of justified that, um, uh, you know, just to put uh, for someone that might be into that. Um, but more often than not, you, you know what I'd be at, the ones that, the outsiders, right? Anyway, good luck. Over and out. Bash the bookies. We're going nicely.